I'm Beidi Chan presenting the joint work Mongoose, a learnable LSH framework for efficient neural network training with Zichang, Binghui, Zhao Zhou, Jonathan, Chui, Zhao, Anshu, and Chris. Currently, with the exponentially growing data and model size, neural network training needs more computational resources. Since we have limited resources in practice, it is necessary to overcome the bottlenecks and perform efficient training. The bottleneck we focus on is the computation for giant matrix multiplication in linear layers preceding a softmax. For example, a tension layer in transformer models or the output layer for extreme classification models. We know that approximate matrix multiplication can trade off accuracy and efficiency. So several recent exciting works we built upon like Slide and Reformer take advantage of this trade-off and show in some special cases how to use locality-sensitive hashing to do approximate matrix multiplications in MLP and transformer model training. However, it is not that widely used because LSH itself will introduce new overhead when doing the approximation, which can lead to bad accuracy efficiency trade-off. For example, naively applying LSH may cause 20 times slowdown or 10-point accuracy drop compared to the brute force matrix applications in neural network training. In this talk, we will show how you can improve efficiency accuracy trade-offs for LSH to achieve up to 20 times speed up and 4 times reduction in memory usage while maintaining the same accuracy. Before going to the details of our proposal, let's walk through the outline. First, I'm going to talk about some background of LSH and data-dependent hashing, which will help better understand the problem setting and proposal. Then I will introduce the key observation that neural network weights and their hash code change slowly. After that, I will show you how we can take advantage of the observation and design our framework Mongoose. Finally, I will show how Mongoose achieve better accuracy efficiency trade-off in multiple real-world applications. LSH is a randomized hashing algorithm, which has the property that if two vectors x and y are similar to each other, the probability that they share the same hash code will be hashed to the same bucket in the hash table is high, and vice versa. Here are simple illustrations of how to use LSH in near neighbor search. In the figure, we have five data points and one query colored based on similarities. Given a query, the goal of near neighbor search is to find data points that are within some distance threshold to the query. With LSH, you can perform approximate near neighbor search in sublinear time by space partitions. Specifically, there is a preprocessing phase where we partition the space with hash functions. In this example, we have one hash table and k hash functions producing binary hash code. So the space is partitioned into two to the k regions corresponding to the buckets in the table. Then we store IDs of these data points into different buckets based on their k hash codes. We then have the query stage when we want to find the neighbors of this query. We extract the candidate neighbors based on the k hash code of this query and the search over the candidates. LSH makes the search space smaller and more efficient by filtering a set of candidates. Then how does LSH, a near neighbor search algorithm, realize approximate matrix multiplication in neural network? Let's take a vector matrix multiplication as a toy example. The first step is near neighbor search we just talked about. Here the query is the input x to this linear layer and the data is the weights w in this layer. Here we assume the weights have been preprocessed in hash tables. And right before the multiplication, we query the neighbors of x among weight columns. In this case, we have 2 and 5. There are similar ones and likely to produce high inner product. Then we only do the multiplication with column 2 and 5, and others will be set to 0. Note, in our case, since we have softmax nonlinearity after the matrix multiplication, and softmax is dominated by the large entries, we can approximate it by only looking at the entries corresponding to high inner product between x and columns of w. 
However, LSH brings two kinds of overhead. The first is the query overhead. Recall LSH hash functions randomly partition the space independent of the data. In practice, to guarantee accurate near-neighbor search, we will need to maintain many hash tables, each with multiple hash functions. So in query phase, we have large overhead due to querying multiple hash tables. This is further exacerbated due to bad data distributions that can cause several heavily populated buckets that requires longer query time. Query overhead issue of LSH has been well addressed by recent works in data-dependent hashing, which can partition the data more effectively. A natural question is, can we directly use this data-dependent hashing in new network training? The answer is no. Because of the update overhead, recall the toy example where we use neural network search to do approximate matrix multiplication in neural network training. Unlike the traditional neural network search setting, during the training, the weights are going to change over time, and LSH will need to update its hash tables accordingly. If we fail to do that, in some examples, we see a large drop in accuracy due to inaccurate neighbors. For example, if V5 was updated and became pink, it should be updated to bucket 11. The cost of maintaining LSH table is very expensive in the neural network training setting. Although data-dependent hashing can reduce the query overhead, it will make the update more expensive. The goal of this work is to address the challenges we just talked about. First, why there's a lot of work on how to use LSH in universe search where the data are fixed, there's less understanding in your network training where the model parameters are changing. Second, the high query overhead of LSH results poor accuracy efficiency trade-off for approximate matrix multiplication in your network. Lastly, the evolving parameters introduce high optic costs. And to overcome these challenges, our first goal is to have a better understanding of model parameter update dynamics. Then we will show how to take advantage of the understanding and reduce the update and query overhead. To this end, we introduce Mongoose, a learnable LSH framework which realizes these three goals. The assumption was to use LSH, we have to update the hash table whenever weights are changing. The good news is when studying the training dynamics of neural network, we observe a very important phenomenon. The weights are slowly changing. This is an example of side-by-side -side comparison of weight changes and their hash code changes for each epoch. Hash code are on the right. We can see large changes in the first one to two epochs and then a plateau. On average, you only need to perform LSH update for one to 5% of the weights in a wide range of cases. This is the main insight which Mongoose was built on. We show the detailed benefits we can get from previous observation followed by related issues on how to take advantage of them. First, if we have an oracle tells us when to update and when not to update LSH, we would reduce the frequency of LSH update by 100 times. And with such low update frequency, it gives us an opportunity to use data-dependent hash functions, which would reduce the query overhead as we explained earlier. However, in practice, we do not have this oracle, and even we have this low update frequency, it is not obvious we can realize shorter query time using data-dependent hash functions without compromising on the update time. Therefore, in the next part, I will show you two key components of Mongoose. One is an algorithm for scheduling LSH updates, and the other one is how to learn parameterized LSH hash functions at low cost. Let's start with the first component, scheduler. I'll leave the details to the paper, but the high-level intuition behind the scheduler's decision is it uses a low-cost structure to detect if the update is needed or not. On this diagram, the curve stimulates the weight and their hash code changes along the training. 
The red dotted lines the arrow pointed to represent the iterations that the scheduler triggers LSH update. Otherwise, there will be no update. For example, this is how LSH partition the current iteration of the weights. Same color represents they have the same hash code or neighbors. Let's say this weight 5 has been updated. Then if the scheduler decides there's no update, the hash code for 5 will remain the same. And if there's update, the hash code will correspond to the new weight. We also provide guarantees for our scheduler. Condition on the weights changing slowly and the advances in support for massive parallelism on modern computation architectures. We can theoretically show our scheduler is always faster than a naive sequential updating strategy while not hurting the accuracy. Next, we introduce our second component, learnable LSH. The goal of learning the hash functions is to better partition the data and achieve lower query time. Let's take a closer look on how we realize the low cost learning. We use parameterized hash functions like SimHash or cross polytope LSH. The learning process involves collecting the positive and negative pairs from the previous iteration. The positive pairs come from the ones that are supposed to be the neighbors, like 1 and 2 in our example, and the negative ones come from the ones that are not neighbors but are partitioned together by hash functions, like 4 and 5 in our case. Then we perform supervised learning to update hash functions. Let's put things together. Here's the Mongoose complete workflow from time t1 to t2. At each step, our scheduler decides to perform LSH updates or not. If there is update, we first update the hash functions and then the hash tables. In summary, based on a slowly changing weight observation, we designed Mongoose, which has a smart scheduler and a low-cost learnable LSH algorithm. Next step is to show how does Mongoose do in practice. The first task is extreme classification on the wiki's 325k dataset, where there are 325k classes. The base model is wide MLP layers. We see from the result table that Mongoose gets 20 times speed up and 4 times memory reduction when maintaining the same or even better precision than one compared to the naive MLP model. Compared with Slide, which uses vanilla LSH, we use 2 times less memory and 14 times speed up while achieving more than 7 points better accuracy. Take a look at our paper for more datasets in this category. The other task is language modeling using a transformer model. The baseline is reformer which uses vanilla LSH to approximate attention layers. Here we can see on both copy and in wiki A dataset, Mongoose achieves lower loss and lower perplexity using approximately the same resources. In summary, we present a key observation that hash codes of model parameters change slowly which provides the space for a data-dependent LSH framework. Then based on this insight, we designed a smart scheduler to update LSH according to the parameter changes. Also, we managed to learn or adjust LSH hash functions based on the current parameters at low cost. Based on above, our framework Mongoose achieves better accuracy efficiency trade-off of LSH than prior work for efficient neural network training. There are several interesting future directions we'd like to explore more. One is can we design more efficient data structures for neural network search in neural network training? The other one is are there other neural network models or can we design new ones that can exploit LSH or neural network search in approximate large matrix multiplication? Thanks for coming to the talk and welcome to join our poster session.